Hi everybody and welcome to Art with Miss V. Vasily Kandinsky was born in Russia in 1866. Growing up, he enjoyed music and learned to play the cello and the piano. Kandinsky always loved the beauty of nature and said that even as a child, the colors of nature dazzled him. Both music and colors would have a huge impact on his art. Kandinsky went to college and then became a law professor. However, when he was 30, he decided to change careers and become an artist. Over the next several years, Kandinsky would start to paint what, what would become known as abstract art. He was one of the founding fathers of abstract art. Kandinsky felt that he could express feelings in music through colors and shapes in his paintings. For example, he thought that yellow had the crisp sound of a brass trumpet and that certain colors placed together could harmonize, like the chords on a piano. The shapes he was most interested in were the circle, triangle, and the square. He thought that the triangle could cause aggressive feelings, the square, calm feelings, and the circle, spiritual feelings. Many of his paintings use names as if they were songs or musical works, like composition and improvisation. This is an actual video of Vasily Kandinsky painting in 1926. You'll notice that Vasily Kandinsky is not painting realistic things on his artwork. He's painting abstract art. Abstract art is more about the shapes and colors and the feelings it expresses. It is not about the accurate portrayal of the subject matter. Abstract art can be interpreted differently by anyone who sees it, and there is no right or wrong way to create abstract art. Alright, now it's time to start our drawing. I'm going to use marker so it's easier for you to see, but you should use a pencil with an eraser in case you want to change anything. Draw a light until you get it right. Alright, today we're going to be creating st uh, artwork that is inspired by the artist Kandinsky. And Kandinsky created abstract art, which means that he focused more on the lines, shapes and colors than he did the subject matter. He also had a condition called synesthesia, which is a big fancy word, but it's a very rare condition and it sort of means having colored hearing. It's when you sounds, music, or voices are seen as colors. So he always listened to music and was inspired by the music that he listened to. Today, I invite you to either listen to the music I'm playing or play your own music that inspires you. So today we're going to draw um, with a very abstract style. And I, if you have a ruler, you can use a ruler. If you have shapes that you want to trace, you can have those. I don't really have any of those today. I'm going to just be freehanding. Although, I think I'm going to use another piece of paper to draw straight lines. So I think I'm going to start with just a wavy line. And remember, yours does not have to look like mine. I'm going to start with a wavy line that goes up 
and divides my paper. Okay, and then, you know what, I think I'm going to uh, maybe trace along that line again. After looking at his artwork, I see that he has such a mixture and variety of different shapes. He used a lot of circles we saw, so I think I might draw a big circle right here. And if you want a straight line, you can either use a ruler or you could use a piece of paper as a straight edge. I'm just making it up as I go and yours does not have to look just like mine. I'm just trying to create a balanced composition. Something that looks good to the eye. And I'm tracing this paper. Ooh starting to look like Kandinsky already. Remember, your art does not have to look like my art. Your art is your art and you can make it unique. a combination of organic shapes and geometric shapes to create my artwork. divide up some of these larger spaces so that when we color it in, it's going to be very colorful. I'm going to make some of the lines thick and some of them thin. Some are straight, some are curvy, some are thick and some are thin. We want to have a variety of shapes and lines and colors in our artwork. I like how I filled the whole page with lines and shapes. I like how I have a variety of different lines, shapes, and I'm going to add colors next time. Well, I hope you had so much fun. See you next time. Thanks for joining me for Art with Miss B. I'll see you next time.